Hey everyone, just wanted to give an update on my my cloud NAS drives. I saw my old video and I realized it's been a while since I've done some benchmarks and there's been a few firmware updates since then. And I just wanted to give you all a kind of a current update on the benchmarks. So before I get started, I wanted to run through some of my uh, setups here. First of all, we're running uh, three NAS drives each of them three terabytes. I've owned them since around mid, what, 2014, maybe 2015 around there. Um, and the firmware is all up to date. It's version 4.04.03.113 or dash 113 as of uh, June 30th, 2016. Um, some other information that may be relevant here, maybe just so everybody else can kind of get an idea on maybe what I'm working with on my benchmark today. Um, the All three NAS drives are, uh, the SSH is off, the FTP is off. I mean, they're non-modded. I haven't done anything to them or anything like that. They're, if you will, they're basically straight out of the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, for my, I guess my network, if you will, I'm running on my modem is a, it's an Aris surfboard SB6141. My router is an ASUS RT N65U and I have a switch. It's a Netgear five port, one gigabit switch that I have the uh, three NAS drives connected to. So, and then on my PCs, I have um, solid state drives on both of my PCs that I'm using kind of for this for these benchmarks. So, um, to kind of get you going here, I just I have what you're seeing here on is just the three tabs for each of my NAS drives. Um, before I go into the, and you're just looking at them basically, I kind of wanted to just maybe make a quick note that I wish there was a dark mode on here um, being blindingly white is just kind of a little distraction there used to be a or they used to be dark gray I believe in a previous firmware um, also I'm kind of curious how Western Digital defines other um, in in some of these cases I, I guess I don't know if it defines it based on file types or what but I don't know if the file types get updated through the firmware because you know as we progress there are new file types being created for videos or whatnot and so I'm kind of curious if that's you know gets put under the other category or what so um, just thought I'd mention that in this little video here um, going on here to this one right here Apparently, I mean, all three drives are being rebuilt or they're rebuilding the content scan at the moment. Um, this one in particular looks like there's something glitchy. I don't know. It's saying negative something a lot on my other folder. So again, I don't know what's going on with all that. So those are the basic, the three drives that I'm working with right now. So if I minimize my browser, now you're going to see four windows. You're going to see my desktop for my basically my main PC here with my solid state drive. And then you're going to see the three NAS drives. And we're going to do a few tests on this, a few benchmark runs. Um, I'll first, we're going to just do kind of like the standard, maybe the, the I guess, if you will, the highest speed that we're going to get today, which is going to be running from... Uh, copying or cutting, you know, copying or moving, if you want to call it moving, we're going to basically copy this one gigabyte file from my solid state drive on this PC that we're, we're basically we were recording from. We're going to copy it over to the other PC that I have connected to my, my home network, also on a solid state drive. So it's called the, uh, the Jolly Stream PC. So we've copied and now we're going to paste just kind of as a general benchmark here so if I can quickly go to more details so we're kind of pegging around 120 megabytes per second 130 one whatever so very fast rates right now 
for from solid state drive to solid state drive within my network. So we'll leave that alone and we'll go back to our desktop here. Now the two tests I'm going to be running um, are going to have kind of sub tests within them. They're going to be mini tests inside of them. Um, we're going to do a copying test and then we're going to be doing a moving test just to kind of give you some ideas, some differences in our speeds. For the copying test, we're going to do three different variables. We're going to do solid state drive to NAS. We're going to do NAS to NAS. And then we're going to do NAS back to solid state drive. We're going to do that same test with moving as well. Now, with the files and how they're moved, sometimes when you can move one file, it seems like the file can move quickly compared to when you move a folder with many files inside. So we will do two different runs if need be or if, 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 if I feel it's necessary. I have a three gigabyte folder full of uh, photos and so there's currently there's 168 files in there and I can move all those and we can get an idea of the speeds for a folder and see how long it takes to get that moved from one place to the other. So we'll first we'll start off from the solid state drive to the NAS and I can I'll choose either either of the three it doesn't really matter all three of them are currently being rebuilt right now anyway so I suspect all three are gonna achieve the same speeds so we'll just pick one at random we'll do the Jolly Tunes and we have a folder called um, shared test. We'll go ahead and just uh, open up that folder for now. Now we're gonna do a copy and paste. We're gonna copy our one gigabyte file and paste here. And let's go ahead and do the more details. Kind of give you an idea of our speed here. 71, 70. So it looks like we got around 65 to 75 megabytes per second. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the same with our folder here. That might take a little bit longer. And uh, you can clearly see the difference in the speeds. But it looks like the speeds are ramping up slightly. So clearly you're going to get a difference in speeds when moving one large file versus a folder full of many small files. That's just the way it is. And looks like we're just about done. All right, so what do we average? Maybe 30 to 40 tops around there, uh, maybe 20 or so. So much slower speed when moving an entire folder. Um, now it's going to move from NAS to NAS. So let's take that one gigabyte file and we're gonna go ahead and copy it from one of the NAS drives to another. So we'll go ahead and do this one now. All right, so let's we'll copy and paste. So one file is getting a good speed of around 60 to 70, 50. Pretty good speeds between 55 to up to 60. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attempt to do our 3 gigabyte folder now, copying it and pasting it from one NAS to the other. Looks like 
Looks like we're averaging about 40. So that's probably what you're going to expect from NAS drive to NAS drive. I'd say about 40 megabytes per second is what we're averaging right now. About right on the money. Okay, so we're going to finally go from the NAS back to the solid state drive. So temporarily, we're just going to delete these two folders, or this, I guess this file and this folder here. And from one of the NAS drives back to the SSD, let's see what kind of speeds we're gonna get. So from NAS to SSD, we're getting between 58, 70, 53, 54, 62, 68, pretty good speeds. And our final test, moving, I'm sorry, copying from the NAS to the SSD, the three, three gigabyte photo folder. Oh, I'm sorry, apologies here. Pretty good speed once again, 65 to 70. I suspect moving will be very similar in speeds to the copying. Um, we're going to just maybe run one test to kind of confirm that theory as to not keep this video so long. So I will go ahead and do that video, or I'm sorry, I'll do that run right now as soon as this is done copying over. As you can see, some pretty good speeds, about 62, 63, not bad at all. So finally, we're just going to move just to kind of maybe get a, an idea from the solid state from the solid state to the NAS, and then maybe we'll go from NAS to NAS, just a real quick file move. Maybe, maybe not the folder, we'll just move the files. So let's go ahead and delete these. Deleting seems pretty quick. All right, so now we're gonna move from the solid state to the NAS. Well, look at that. Looks like moving is a little bit slower, but it does ramp up a little bit. I believe when we were copying, we were copying around 60 to 70. All right, so we'll go ahead and take that same file and move it from one NAS to the other. Now look at that. Pretty good speed, 54 to 60 on that one. Seems as though it's moving faster from NAS to NAS than it was from SSD to NAS. And to finish out our test here, we'll go ahead and move it from our NAS back to the SSD. And look at that. Very high speeds there. Wow, so quite a, an array of speeds in conclusion with all this. And I apologize for the longer than normal video. I just would kind of, this is kind of a one take thing here. And I just wanted to kind of go around and kind of get some idea live, some of these benchmarks, some of these speeds that we should be getting, we might be getting, that I believe we are supposed to be getting. 
So this is kind of where we're at right now here on June 30th, 2016. I appreciate everybody taking a look at this video. And if you have any comments, questions, and if I missed anything or messed something up, please let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great day.